I have made multiple seven figures selling products on Amazon FBA. Today, I am going to share with you the top five things that you must know before you start selling on Amazon. If you follow everything that I say in this video, you will reach the level of success a lot faster without making any silly mistakes. Before you guys throw all of your hard-earned money on products and suppliers and everything else involved in this Amazon FBA business model, it is very important for you to understand first that you must come into this business with a learning experience type of mindset and not a scarcity mindset. So I see a lot of beginner entrepreneurs when they hear about this glamorous Amazon FBA business model, they are instantly scared of every damn thing. Now, if you are someone that easily gets scared of paying for products, paying for suppliers, paying for shipping, then this business is not for you. Because in order to achieve success in Amazon FBA, you must be willing to invest in yourself and you must be willing to take on some financial risk. So if you are someone that is just scared of everything that you can possibly think of and you think that things will always go wrong and not go your way and you think a lot about the what if this happens what if this doesn't work out what if i fail a lot of these what ifs that go on in your mind is not serving you and it is definitely not going to help your amazon fba business so in order to succeed and in order to make a lot of money when you are selling on amazon fba is to take this business as a learning experience. So once I was able to shift my mindset into thinking that everything that I am doing in Amazon FBA is a learning experience, my journey became very smooth. I was always excited and happy when I wake up in the morning working on my Amazon FBA business. But a lot of other people, they wake up feeling scared. They wake up feeling thinking about the what ifs, like, oh my gosh, what if something happens and this doesn't work out and I lose all my money? And if you are someone that is thinking negatively like that, then you will have a negative impact on your business. So before you get started on Amazon FBA, I want to tell you that you must take everything as a learning experience and do not be so hard on yourself, even if you choose the wrong products or even if you lose a bit of money because when you take things as a learning experience, it becomes a positive outcome. So let me give you an example. When I first failed with my product, my very first product on Amazon FBA in 2017, I failed miserably. And I was so discouraged, I was so scared, I was thinking about all these things that can go wrong in my life because I had bills to pay and everything else that was going on required money. And I thought to myself, okay, how should I process this in a positive way instead of negative? So I thought, you know what, even though I lost a lot of money by choosing the wrong products, I learned a huge lesson. This is a learning experience. And as long as I am taking what I learned today to the next product and the next product, I know that within time, I am going to make it. I know within time that I am going to make a lot of money. If I keep looking at this journey like a learning experience and not have that scarcity mindset. So please, if you do plan on starting your very own Amazon FBA business, then come into this journey with a learning experience type of mindset. Second, before you get super excited about finding your winning product to sell on Amazon FBA, you must be willing to commit to one to two hours per day. So why do I say that entrepreneurs should commit to one to two hours per day? Now, if you are someone that is not doing anything right now and you have the free time, then of course you should be committing more time every day to get this business up and running so it can create financial freedom and passive income for yourself. When I started this business a few years ago, I spent my whole day looking for product. Now, obviously, I don't spend that much time on my Amazon FBA business anymore. In fact, I probably only spend 20 minutes per day managing my advertising campaigns and on my free time, I make free videos for you guys so you can get started as well. This is my passion and this is what I am meant to do. This is my purpose. So when you are first getting started, you have to be committed. If you are not committed, then nothing is going to work out. I can probably give you all of the winning products and it still will not work out for you because you're not 
fully committed and your heart is not in it. So you have to make sure that you are committed to putting in the time and putting in the work to make this work for you. If you guys are new to selling on Amazon or you have trouble with finding winning products that will pay you over and over again every single month, then I encourage you to get my free training in the YouTube description below. Enter your name, enter your email address, and watch the free training to the very end because you will get a chance to book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with my team and we will walk you through the entire process on how I was able to grow multiple brands on Amazon to seven figures every year and we help you get the results that you desire. One of the biggest reasons why people fail in Amazon FBA is because they just don't put in the time. They think that this is just free money. They think that they start making money the next day, the next month. But the truth is that is not true and that's not possible. I want to tell you that real, sustainable, long-term businesses take time to grow and it takes time to make profit. Now, I did a YouTube video on this previously where I give you somewhat of a timeline on how long it takes to see profit in your Amazon FBA business. So make sure that you check out that video if you want to see a realistic timeline on when you can expect to actually make money. Aside from choosing winning products to sell on Amazon, you also have to choose winning suppliers. So you have to make sure that you are choosing the right suppliers because your suppliers are the people that is going to mass produce your products on Amazon. If you choose the wrong supplier, the quality of your products can turn to shit or you will waste a bunch of money on poor quality products and then customers will leave you one star reviews and then you have to start from square one all over again. So you have to find good suppliers and learn how to negotiate with them to get your products for a good price. And then you want your supplier to ship you samples of the product so you can feel and see the quality of your product. I cannot believe that some people actually teach you that you do not need product samples. And that absolutely blows my mind because if you were to buy something online, and especially if you are going to mass produce inventory, mass produce a product that you are going to sell to your very own customers, you need to see the quality of the product. So please learn how to find winning suppliers that will ship you product samples. I always suggest you to um, talk to a handful of suppliers and get samples from them before you pick one supplier. Now, sometimes the quality may end up the same because in China, a lot of the manufacturers work with each other, especially trading companies. So don't be surprised if the quality of your products that you want to sell end up to be the same from the product samples. But you have to make sure that you find the right suppliers that will mass produce your products in time. They have good communication. They are responsive. They want to help you grow your business and that they will work with you to fix any problems that you find in the product samples. So before you start your Amazon FBA business, make sure you know how to identify good suppliers versus bad suppliers. Number four is knowing how to find a winning product. 90% of people who start selling on Amazon FBA do not know how to find a winning product. And if you are someone that is just choosing random products just to see how it goes, I am sorry to break it to you, but this business will never work for you. This is why you see so many people complaining online, complaining on YouTube or Facebook groups, and they always say, I am just not making money with my products. What's going on? I am fed up. And my first question to them is always, do you know the right strategies to even look for a winning product? So this is what my team will help you do if you ever decide to get mentorship with me. We have proven strategies to help you find winning products over and over again. I have mentored over 2,500 students to this day and most of them do end up with a winning product because they are following my winning product strategy. So if you want to learn about this winning product strategy, and like I said earlier, click on the YouTube description below that says free training and get my training and book the free one-on-one -on -one call with my team. And we will explain to you how to look for winning products to sell on Amazon. So you do not make these mistakes and lose thousands and thousands of dollars. So I think the last two things that I mentioned 
is the most obvious, but a lot of people still get this wrong. They think that they can just start looking for their own products, throw it up on Amazon and expect to make money in a very short amount of time. And again, that is not true. And I promise you that will not work. That's actually exactly what I did a few years ago. I started selling cell phone cases. I didn't know a damn thing. And I thought, okay, as long as I ship a product to the Amazon FBA warehouse, it will start selling because with the tools like Helium 10, they tell you how much money sellers are making on the Amazon marketplace. So if I use my cell phone case example, people were making literally a million dollars a month just by selling cell phone cases. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to ship it away to the Amazon warehouse, put it up on Amazon, and I'm going to become a millionaire. And boy, was I wrong. So do not fall into the trap that you can just pick random products to sell on Amazon and expect to be an overnight success because you need proven strategies that will help you find winning products. Learn from people who have already done it and then copy and paste what they're doing. And that is probably the easiest and fastest way to success. I also have a beginner Amazon product research tutorial on my YouTube channel to help you get started. And that is this video right here. So make sure you visit this video. I break down for you how to use Helium 10 and how it is beneficial for you to just get your feet wet when you are trying to look for good products to sell on Amazon. Lastly, the last thing that you need to know before you start selling your products on Amazon is that you need money and you need some sort of income. So if you are someone that is unemployed right now and you don't have a dollar in your bank account, then this business is not for you. This is not a type of business where you can just get started if you are broke. So if you are broke and you do not have anywhere from $2,000 to $8,000 in your bank account, then this business is not for you. Now, one of my first winning products, it only took me $300 to get started. But after spending $300, I reinvested all of my profits back into my business. And that was how I was able to grow so quickly. So without paying myself, I reinvested every single dollar that I made. And I teach a lot of people how to do this because if you just hold back on paying yourself, if you just hold back on um, treating yourself to unnecessary things and you invest all of your money, well, not all of your money, if you invest most of your money back into your business, then your business will grow a lot quicker. So this is how a lot of my students were able to make multiple six figures every year by selling on Amazon because I teach them ways to reinvest their money back into their business so it can grow a lot quicker. Now you are probably asking me right now, how much does it cost to get started? So the simple way to answer this question is that one, you need some sort of income. So if you have a job right now, you are in the perfect position to get started because every two weeks, your employer probably gives you a paycheck. So you have money coming in that can support your Amazon FB business. Or if you have financial help from somewhere else and you are getting funds every single month, then you as well are in the perfect position to start your Amazon FB business. Like I said earlier, if you are broke or unemployed or you do not have anywhere from $2,000 to $8,000 in your bank account, then you cannot get started because businesses cost money. And that is the truth. I do not know why people sometimes message me and they tell me, um, hey, I thought it was free. And I'm like, dude, nothing in this world is free, right? It takes money to make money. And until you understand that concept, you will never make any real money. So why is there a big gap between $2,000 and $8,000? Why did I say that? Because if you choose products that cost a lot less to source, then you're probably looking at anywhere from one to $2,000 to buy inventory. But if you are looking at products that have a huge price tag, which I do know some advanced sellers, experienced sellers, they have products that cost like $30 a piece. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's not something that I teach and that's not something that I do. However, after all said and done, that can cost up to $8,000. So you have to think, how much are you comfortable with getting started with? I always suggest for beginners to buy inventory for anywhere from one to $3 per piece, order a few hundred units, and that is enough for you to get started. So if you are someone that is not really used to taking a lot of risk, then I suggest you take my advice. 
and start with lower price products and then ordering a few hundred units, put them up on Amazon after you brand it, improve the quality, all that good stuff and just see how it goes. And most importantly, you are reinvesting all of your profits so your business can grow a lot quicker. Anyways, that is why nobody can give you a definite answer on how much money you need to get started. All I can tell you is that you need some sort of income or some sort of financial support to do this business. And if you have either one, then you are in the perfect position to get started and start making money on Amazon. I hope this video has helped you guys today. I do not want you guys to make any silly mistakes and lose thousands of dollars because I know how it feels. I've been there, done that a lot of times actually throughout my selling journey and I am here to help you succeed. If you have any questions or comments about this video, then please drop it in the comment section below. Help me give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me in the future. I look forward to seeing you guys next week in my new YouTube video.